We tried to, at that time, this is 35 years ago, it was in Vancouver, British Columbia, we took a billboard out which had one word on it, ecology, look it up. <laughs> no one knew what the word meant. And so now, 30, 35 years later, I can say we have won the revolution. At least people know what the word means and BP oil wants to be green. So the kids that are coming along next, I'm kind of old and <laughs> semi over the hill, the kids that are coming along next really have to learn how to govern because we have won the revolution as environmental groups. We want to be good. We want to have less population, at least I do. We want to uh, teach our kids to do the right things. We want to do all those things. And everyone has to do their part in the tapestry of life, which is <laughs> on the uh, brochure this morning. I guess I'm the person that just can't wait around for that, and I have to get out there and stop it right now. I consider myself a conservationist. And what I do in my business as the media is I take the problem to the world. We consider ourselves an acupuncture needle. We can stick the problem, make a big stink, which we do if you know what we do, and all over the world will hear about it, and then it's time for everyone else, our own selves, to get in there and fix it. And as a small group, which I ran for years, and as an individual, that's all we can do. And recently, I am, uh, I'll get to it in a minute, but Margaret Mead told me one time, and she obviously, it's written out all the time, and you hear about it, that individuals change the world, not groups, not governments, nobody, it's individuals. And when people ask me, what can I do, it seems like such a big deal. Well, it isn't such a big deal. Everyone can do something positive. It's real easy to sit around on our couches and football games and bitch about you know, the Topanga Creek being dirty or whatever, and not even care where our septic tank goes. So that is a very easy subject to deal with. And when people tell you no, if you find something you want to do, I tell kids especially, if that's something, as the lady before me was talking about their passion, if that's what they're passionate about, do it. And you know, everybody in your life is going to tell you why you can't do it. Your parents are going to tell you you're crazy. Your friends are going to say, why bother? Everybody's going to tell you why you can't do it. And you know what? You'll change the world if you do do it. And the minute you stand up to all these naysayers, which they'll be because they've really never done anything themselves, and they're probably more afraid of failure or success, for that matter, than you are. But as a kid, if you see a problem, you just tell yourself you can do it. And in my case, I came from a little town in East Ham, Massachusetts. I came out to Hollywood. I was a professional skier. I got into the television business. And I bump into Paul Watson and Bob Hunter. 30 years later, BP Oil wants to be green. Now, I don't take full credit for it, but I do know the people who can take full credit for it. And those are the people who went out in front and weren't afraid of what was going to happen. I hear all the time, I have coffee at Mimosa Coffee Shop, and I hear all the time people saying, gee, Peter, you just got back from Antarctica. I wish I could do that. Well, six weeks before I left, they were sitting there in the coffee shop telling me, gee, I wish I could go to Antarctica. I don't have time. I come back six weeks later, and they told me, what did you do? Nothing. As a matter of fact, the darn coffee shop is about the same and probably still has the same dirty cups in the trash. But I went and took six weeks of my time to do something that I believed in for whatever reasons. I did it for myself, I did it for the whales, I can do it for whatever number of reasons. But the very fact is it that I did it. And it is very funny that after 35 years I end up in that stupid Whale Wars television show and now all of a sudden I'm invited to places like this to speak. <laughs> you know. I could be the greatest scientist in the world, but hell, I wasn't on television last night, but I was on television, and I play a scientist on TV, and I'll tell you, don't kill whales. <laughs>